everybody what's up right right so today over here i'm going to show you a very very interesting thing which you can read right over here extract tables from pdf file yes you read it right okay so here we have this pdf file in which you can see there are two pdfs which are uh, sorry there are two tables which are available over here so it's a uh, it's a big document right uh, not too big two page document just right which has two uh, you know two tables into it right and you can uh, i'm going to show you so you a way which is so efficient that you can extract both of these two tables in a minute okay now let me take you quickly to the uh, python and uh, or rather i should say the jupyter notebook and let me show you how you can do this why i why i was saying that it is very very important because you know if you go and take the subscription from adobe it charges you significant amount right so why to pay that when you can do it for free right so that's what exactly i'm going to do over here i'll i'm just right back over here and in the jupyter notebook or in the python rather you say what you need to do is you need to have some sort of dependencies available into uh, into your session right so the library which we need to have is tabula okay to install this you can just write this command and run this which is nothing but pip install tabula dash py okay and after that once it is installed you just say import tabula as tb and that is it after that you will be able to do it i'm going to import pandas also because i ultimately i would require to convert that as the pandas data frame pandas as pd and to be on safer side i'm also going to take numpy as np because i might require it okay next thing which comes is extracting the uh, extracting the table from pdf file how do i do that so for that i need to create a variable which is called my pdf you can name it whatever you want okay and after that uh, tb dot read pdf all right now the pdf which i want to use is this is the one this pdf this pdf is just stored over here which is nothing but called quotation file name right click on this and copy as path okay that path is copied go back to the jupyter notebook over here and paste that all right now here is another parameter which we need to specify which is pages now you can tell uh, tell this particular function on what page you have the table that you want to extract or what is the range of page that you want to use from where you want to extract the tables that's what uh, it requires over here so here i'm going to say all because there are only two pages if you have let's say thousands or uh, millions of pages then you can specify you may like to specify the range of pages okay so this is done all right uh, now once this is done what we're gonna do is now you see this is done we are done with extracting the pdf uh, pdf i mean tables from the pdf right now let me just print it for you so that you could see it now you see over here we got that data available if you go back to the pdf and try to check this information right over here here it says full flat false selling 99,000 right you see over here it says full flat uh, false selling 99,000 that is stored now let's just check the type of this day data what is this type it says that it is list okay how long this list is so for that I'm going to check uh, how big that list is it is having only two elements the size of the list is only two elements okay now currently what you see that is stored as a list which is having two elements into it now let me try to slice the first element and now what you see is this is a data frame uh, to validate this what i will do is i'll just check try to check the type of this hmm? so it says that it is data frame so which means this my pdf is nothing but list of data frames okay so what we need to do is uh, from my pdf this variable whatever the data sets are available into it we just need to combine them all together currently here we see we have only two data sets into it which is very simple to do manually if you want you can combine them manually as well but in real life if you are doing this you might get 10 thousand hundred whatever number right so how to do that automatically so for that what we will do is we will iterate through each of the elements in this particular list which is is my pdf okay so that's something which i'm going to cover in cleaning uh cleaning the extracted data if you're someone who who do not want to get into the data cleaning and uh, your purpose for watching this video was 
uh, was to know this part only then this is done right you are done with this you can pause the video and go ahead and get to your activity but if you are interested in understanding how am i going to combine them all and how am i going to make it more suitable to use then stay with me all right so next thing to start uh, to start with cleaning the extracted data what i'm going to do is first thing i will create a blank data frame which is by pdf sorry pd dot data frame of course then i'm going to say for x in my pdf which is nothing but my list df equals to what i need to do is df equals to df dot concat oops sorry it's pd dot concat pd dot concat concat and into this i need to provide both of the data frame df is the blank one and x is something which is through which we are iterating and then i would ignore the indexes this is done now let's just check out the df data frame so you see over here all the data sets are combined but there is one problem you see this was the second data set and this was the first data set if you want to see you remember this was the first data set and if i check the second one then this is this is how it is looking but ideally we wanted to have it one below another but what has happened is it has uh, combined side by side why because these these were uh, these have been captured as the column header which is not good right so they that's where the cleaning is required right so what we first need to do is we need to use this value as the use this row header as the row value i mean the value in the data frame the way these these values are captured okay so for that what i will do simply is i would say df df dot okay first of all let me separate it into the two part so first one df1 into that i'm going to keep serial number item and total okay before that if you want to check the shape of the data let me do this display and df dot shape and then the next one is df dot head all right and let's just run this you see this is how means we in the data frame we have 19 rows and 7 columns now let me just do a subset of this data frame so for example df1 equals to df dot i lock and here i want to keep all the rows that's why this and then i want to keep the first three rows so call 0 2 this the, these are the rows uh, these are the columns which i want to keep in my data frame okay next one is df2 and for df2 what i need is i need to again keep all the data frames but they need to start it from fourth until seventh so let me just print df1 once first so here is what we got this is perfectly fine now let me just print df2 as well so this is the this is where we have the df2 now the next step is uh, next step is convert convert header as row value right so this header i'm going to convert that as the row value how do i do that so for that what i'm going to do is i'll take df2 dot columns let's just see this is what i got next thing which i need to do is i'll convert this as the data frame pd dot data frame sorry data frame into this and let's just see this is how it looks now i need to give name instead of 0 1 2 so i'm going to use the same value as column header again right you might be finding it funny but just stay with me you will understand df2 dot columns and that i need to pass in columns parameter okay now let's just see this is how we got now i'm going to store it in a data frame called row values all right now let's just print the low row values over here this is done now next thing which i will do is i'll append this into tf2 okay so combined df2 equals to pd dot concat and inside this here df2 comma this and here what i into is i can say ignore index equals to true and let's just check out bravo we got this so what i need to do is i need to show you whether this has been captured as row value in df2 or not so that's right over here you see we got it all right now we need to combine this with df1 okay so let's just do that 
okay i'm going to say combined all equals to pd dot concat this is something which you can do yourself as well right because you don't require uh, rocket science it's not a rocket science okay df1 comma combined df2 and over here i'm going to say you know ignore index that is true and combined all it's something which is done oops there is some problem sorry we don't need to do this yet first we need to do the renaming of the column right so over here whatever columns that you have that you need to rename okay now there is very very interesting part which i'm going to tell you to rename you might have seen this index that this is how you need to do rename and over here you need to provide the column name which you want to rename and then how you want to rename it both of those two things you need to do but here i'm going to do it in a efficient way right so let's just say columns over here and here i'm going to make a dictionary and into that i'm going to put the zip value for both of these two so i want to rename uh 15 with serial number this this value with all right let me select it pretty well this value with item detail and this value with total right this is how i want to rename so precisely what i am trying to say is if you would check out df1 in df1 you have all these three values so i'm going to fetch the column name from df1 and that value i'm going to use to rename this all you see how it is going to be so to rename this first we need to provide the old value which we want to rename so that is nothing but df2 sorry not df2 but combined combined df2 right dot columns right this is what i want to rename now with what i want to rename is so that is df1 dot columns so whatever column name we have in df1 same column name i want to use in the same sequence to rename the columns which we have in combined df2 remember this technique you can use if the structure of the columns are same and in the same sequence right otherwise don't use this okay now here i'm going to say combined combined okay let me say final df2 all right now this see you see this is renamed now the time comes when we should combine it with df1 this was very interesting part you must note this right next what we need to do is very quickly we need to combine it with df1 right so i'm going to say combined all equals to pd dot concat and inside this i'm going to provide first data frame name which is df1 and second data frame which is com, uh, final sorry final df2 yep. do, 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 do. i have made a spelling mistake rather i should use this final df2 all right i think it is pretty fine isn't it yeah let's just see let's run this yeah we got it now i you see we have this data combined now i can understand what you must be thinking that these are the values which we need to get rid of i'm going to get rid of these values okay just stay with me so for that i i want you to check this out let me just do this and over here you see this now let's just check the uh, data type for this so you see all the three columns are of object type right so what we need to do is we if we change the data type for serial number whatever non-numeric values are going because serial number is uh, mostly the numeric value right so whatever non-numeric value you would have into that that will be set to nan and then you can drop the non null values right so that's how we can change it right so let me just say this fact okay cleaned df equals to pd pd dot to numeric to numeric and this is where i'm going to remove this inside of this i'm going to put the specify the column name from where i want to remove it you see this is done and exactly this is the column which i want to use over here as well right so this is done now let me just put it over here as well dot info and let's see what oops is not defined why is that so okay i get it 
so we don't uh, we had not created instead of creating a new data frame at this stage i'm going to use the same one now that there is a problem let me run this again oops what's the issue combined all that info as n that says there is some space okay this space is not there okay now again there is an issue why is that so pro to, to unable to parse subtotal at position 34 to numeric do i need to put any other okay so here there is another parameter it is uh you know giving me the problem why because let me show you so it is giving me the problem because you see df1 into this sum of the values it is saying that it is not able to do the parsing right so for that what i will do is not in this but in combined all you see into this it is saying that it is not able to parse this so for that we have a technique we're gonna force it to do that right so yeah usually we should not force anyone but over here we have to do it now here i'm going to say error and there is one value which you can specify into that for that what you're going to do is look look for that value inside this okay so here you have errors and this is the value which we need to use to force it okay now you see this is converted serial number is converted to float same thing we are going to do for this uh, second one as well which is nothing but total yeah so i'm going to change that as well total okay here this is also done right all right we got this converted now if you check the head or maybe let's just check the whole data you see this is looking pretty well that subtotal thing is gone now you are worried about this value so the moment we remove the nan values out of it that will automatically go away right now just wait uh, stay with me and let's just see how we are going to do it okay over here i'm going to say drop na and into this subset subset inside subset i'm going to use serial number by serial number simply i'm trying to say that remove the duplicates okay uh, let's just say final underscore tf ideally it should be final at this stage only yeah that's gone right that is gone you see now you have neat and clean value now there is one thing which you might notice is that all yeah i think it is pretty well 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so after 14 you are directly seeing 19 right which is not right so how do you manage this how do you arrange this so for that what i can do is i will say reset index okay dot reset reset come on come quickly right and there is one argument which you need to use that is drop true drop equals to true and then let's just put this now if you would see that is perfectly fine yeah so this is how you can you see you can do the cleaning uh, i mean you would agree that extracting tables from pdf was super easy right all the time that it took was in cleaning the data after cleaning the data after performing this cleaning activity you have this data all set and ready to use you can go ahead and perform your analysis hope this was easy for you to understand just in case of any doubt put that into the comment section i'll be more than happy to help you out and let me know what sort of data that you did the cleaning on using this uh cleaning or maybe maybe the table extraction what was the use case where you utilize this i'll be more than happy to know that and if i find that very very useful i'll make another video on that using this technique thanks once again wish you very very good luck